guys. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, pressure transducers. This is my 100 PSI uh, pressure transducer that I'm using to check the uh, fuel pressure. Uh, there are uh, different different pre pre pressure transducers. This one is 100 PSI. We can get 300, 500, uh, 30. Uh, so when I do um, uh, cylinder uh, uh, compression checks, um, I like to use a 300 psi. Now one of the problems with these, um, uh, I like to use it on my picoscope because I can I can customize uh, my uh, pressure transducers so that I can read the pressure instead of voltage. So they basically they work they work from uh, zero to five volts, meaning on this one. Uh, 0.5 volts is 0 psi and the 4.5 would be maximum 100 psi and I made a video how to uh, customize your uh, pressure transducers on a picoscope and I'm going to leave the link in the uh, in description. Now if you want to use this on, on, uh, on other scopes uh, OTC or uh, snap-on uh, you're going to be able to read only voltage but not the pressure and uh, to be able to uh, convert that voltage into the pressure it's not easy and um, so anyway <clears throat> now I have my uh, uh, I'm, I'm connected to my uh, fuel rail I have my uh, pressure gauge here but I want to specifically talk now about the uh, snap-on units like a virus or, or, or um, modus or um, a vantage um, they uh, these uh, units uh, they have a uh, uh, pressure transducers is especially designed for these machines and they are um, I, I got it here on their uh, website uh, they are uh, 500 uh, 5000 they have a 500 they have a hundred and then there's a one for the for the vacuum and they are uh, 365 dollars on the peak uh, on the uh, snap on website and uh, you know, I mean, these are top of the line transducers. I mean, they they work great, and they uh, now along with this, uh, like uh, this is one of the uh, 500s. I wish they have actually 300, but so this one would be used for uh, uh, check the compression in your in your in your cylinders. Uh, now, so this one comes with the pressure transducer and the and the cable. Now, in order to use this, you will you will need also this one as a it's a split uh, adapter, split lead adapter. It's uh, this guy here, and uh, you will uh, you will have to use this, and you, this way you would connect your uh, uh, pressure transducer on this side, and this end would be connected right in right in here, and it would be the same connect uh, same connector on uh, Modus and the uh, Vantage, Vantage Pro. And then uh, there will be two leads coming. There will be yellow and the green lead, and these two leads will be, of course, connected to your uh, channel one and channel two. And then you're going to be able to uh, connect your pressure transducers and uh, do your testing. Well, uh, what I've been doing with uh, with uh, snap-on units, um, I would I would just go into a uh, uh, go back here. I would go to a scope meter. And um, I use a lab scope or graphic multimeter, and just uh, uh, again, there would be a voltage uh, measurements. Uh, and again, it's not easy to uh, convert uh, voltage versus pressure. Well, I was playing with this thing a little bit, and uh, uh, let's see. Actually, now you can see here there's a setting for uh, 100 psi. Vacuum transducer, 100 psi pressure transducer, and 500 and 5000. So here I have 100, of course, 100 psi pressure transducer. And let's see if we actually we can if we can use our home uh, DIY aftermarket pressure transducer in this mode. So in order for this uh, to work, uh, you have to make one of these uh, five volt uh, uh, regulators. I also have a video how to make how to make this unit. So basically, this will Make this is send five volt to your uh, pressure transducer, and then you have a you're gonna have leads. You're gonna connect to your um, um, lab scope, uh, and then uh, you will you know read the voltage. And of course, and as I said on my uh, on my uh, picoscope, I was able to uh, customize it so I can actually read the pressure there. The picoscope it automatically convert the voltage into pressure. So. Uh, 
I get to I have to put these adapters here. My lead's a little different. So now I'm going to uh, connect my red lead into a uh, my positive lead for my five uh, for my regulator to to the channel the yellow channel channel one, and then the ground the black lead goes into the ground. So um, and now we're gonna connect our uh, connector to a uh, pressure transducer here. Sorry about that. So this is the uh, this uh, this harness is connector. It's it's really cheap and it's kind of. This one is almost it's breaking apart. You can see it's really, but it works. And um, so now we are, you know, we're connected to our pressure transducer. Now we need to. Um, I'm going to turn on my uh, five volt regulator. Okay. And uh, again, uh, on the way it works, a half a volt is zero psi, and uh, four and a half volt is a maximum psi that pressure transducer is uh, design and this one's going to be uh, 100 psi will be four and a half volts so let's go to 100 psi and it says do you wish to calibrate this uh, this probe and uh, I'm going to say yes and uh, it works it calibrated I'm at the zero psi right now and um, you can see now I've got 10 20 30 this is, this is my pressure here it goes up to 100, 100 psi now um, I can change, of course, my, my time uh, on the. My, I can go from on this setting. I can go from from 100 to 10 psi. Depends what I'm uh, what I'm uh, gonna measure, and I'm just gonna stay on 100 psi for this. Um, actually, I guess I can go to 50. And um, now we can change the time. I don't know, 10 seconds. And uh, let's uh, let's start it up and see if uh, this is gonna work or not. So now. Also, again, as I said, I have my uh, I have my pressure gauge here, and uh, let's see if we can uh, read some pressure and compare it to our to our gauge. Let's see how accurate it is. <clears throat> You can see our pressure is going up, and uh, it reads, it works fine. Honestly, I really didn't know that we can use this. And um, let's, uh, so we're around 40, let's see, 40 psi right now. So let's check the gauge and see if, uh, let's see if the gauge reads the same pressure. And we are right at the, at the 40 psi. And um, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, 100 now. It works just fine. And uh, I'm gonna pull my uh, vacuum of my uh, fuel pressure regulator, they should increase the pressure, and it does, so it means my uh, fuel pressure regulator is working, and we are around, uh, around, let's see, 50 psi I would say, 45, it should go, or 45 psi, okay, 46, and uh, my pressure gauge reads 46, um, and this pressure is actually a little low, uh, actually, I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's uh, the spec is like 50, 50 psi, uh, and it can drop up like 10 psi. 50 psi, key on, engine off, and I think it we can drop down to 10 p. Uh, drop, drop 10 psi, which is around 40 or 45. So I think it's okay. Uh, but anyway, this is the um, this is it. It works fine. I, I really didn't notice. And uh, 
no problems at all. Uh, also, you can actually um, in, you can actually have two. Um, you can add another pressure transducer if you want to, but uh, you'll have to have another pressure transducer and another regulator to connect it to your lead to, to your, to your uh, channels, and it will work as well. So uh, again, uh, you know, I'm not sure how long this pressure transducer is going to last. I mean, they're they're cheap, uh, snap-on. You know, if you want to invest the money in snap-on, I think that's that's good as well because they are top of the line. They are the best. They will last forever. These things are accurate, but you know, you can you can measure, uh, you know, fluid with it. I mean, uh, fuel, uh, compression. Um, I mean, anything pretty much. So, but again, how long it lasts, I don't know. And they're like 20, 25 dollars, you know, there's all over on eBay. And, uh, but, uh, are they accurate? Yes, yes, they are. I mean, they are reading correct uh, pressure. We are around uh, 40 psi right now, and uh, we are at the 40, 40 psi, so uh, 38.6. Little lower, maybe it's dropped a bit. Yeah, it dropped it right there. So, uh, I mean, pretty much the money. I mean, it can be maybe one psi difference, but that's not a big deal. So, but anyway, this is what I want to show you guys. Um, I honestly didn't know this. Um, this uh, so, this will work on various Modus, Vantage Pro. Any of these units will, uh, will work with this setup. So, um, okay, guys, uh, that's all I want to show you this time. Thank you so much for watching and. Uh, See you next time. Thank you. Bye.